good morning and best wishes for this year. I won't say Happy New Year because uh, it isn't really at the beginning, is it? But anyway, we're all raring to go. And the first thing that we're going to do this year is to finish the galley, which Henry's working on at the moment. And, um, <laughs> and we're also going back to our stove because we're not, it's really lovely and warm on here, but it's a little bit fumey and I'm really sensitive to it. I'll get headaches straight away. So we are going back and having a look at the oven and making sure that it's properly installed because um, it doesn't seem to be um, as good as it could be. And I'm also going to research air purifiers because with the best will in the world you can't keep all the smoke out with a stove and I don't really want particles in the boat if I don't have to have them in there. So that's what we're doing at the moment. Um, we're hoping that we're going to be able to keep working and um, we're aiming to have our boat on the water if the tier 4 restrictions or the tier 5 restrictions ease up um, on the 1st of June which is about six months later than we wanted um, actually it's nine months when we think about it because we lost three months last year on the first lockdown and then another couple of months when H had his knee replacement and it looks like this lockdown might well be another three months so there's no point trying to think about it before the beginning of June I don't think so that's what we're aiming for Tuesday the 1st of June that's our date right okay well this this is possibly um, the cause of it um, you can see there that the um, that insulating braiding isn't um, sitting as it should do um, in that little um, gully and I think that's Tent well, almost certainly that's probably what's causing it um, to give off the fumes. Was it like that one when you put it in? Um, to be honest, I don't know because this was already um, glued in. I didn't actually fix that, and you can see it's all um, yeah, it's jointed. I didn't do that, so it's it obviously turned up not fitted perfectly in the first place. Whoa, sort that one out. You're taking it all out or just loosening no, no, it I'm up? I'm going to get this bit out and then um, push it over and put some um, fresh um, fire cement underneath it. Now, what good, it's good to find, at least you found something. It's always good when you can find something because you, you kind of know then, don't you? Oh, yeah, look at that, that'll be fine. Right, that looks better. Right, I reckon if we put, um, we don't want to put loads of fire cement underneath that, but we'll put a little bit just to make sure it's actually got a seal. Do you want to use the silica cement in that tube? Um, I'll go and get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. That, would be good. that. I think I will. I'm going to put some of this um, around here as well to make sure. No point doing it there. Maybe just do it on the actual uh, cord.
Nice and neat. Yes. So now we've got the fire working beautifully. There's no fumes or smoke um, and everything is as it should be. So I'm trying it out now for a bit of cooking. We decided not to have gas on the boat. Um, we've got lithium batteries and an induction hob and we'll have an oven but obviously in the winter there'll be less sunlight around and so we sort of need a backup for then. So I bought this um, Ottawa stove with an oven and I've been trying it out to see if I can do an evening meal on it um, without too much trouble. So obviously the temperature control in the oven is hit and miss, it depends on the fire that you've got burning underneath. But I did think that all I'd be able to do on, on it was to bake, um, make a bake or do a casserole or something like that. But I've actually been able to cook a, a much more extensive um, variety of foods than I thought. So you can put a frying pan straight in the oven and it will fry things off beautifully. Um, at the moment, I've got in here some peppers which are stuffed with cream cheese, wild mushrooms, seaweed and pine nuts, all of which were fried off before they got stuffed into the peppers. And I'm roasting some courgettes in there as well. And on the top here, I've got some spring greens which are steaming away. So, it's actually easy to make um, an evening meal on it. So I would recommend these, they're good. The, the fire itself was very reasonably priced because they come direct from the manufacturers. And once we'd got over the issue with the fire rope, um, it was easy to install. So a big thumbs up for the Ottawa five kilowatt oven and I shall show you our dinner when it comes out in a minute. Oh, yum. That looks really nice. Really hot. There we go. All done. Bon appetit. It's freezing this morning. The steps going up to the boat are lethal. It's all iced up on the end here as well. Ooh. Henry found a patch of sunshine to do some cutting, which is going to be part of the kitchen down here. So this is going to be the sink area and the sink will go along here 
and at the end under there we've got a small top loader freezer it's a quite a mini one and the idea is that it will slide under the worktop here and we'll pull it out when we need to get anything out down here at the same time we didn't want to have any corners on the kitchen so it's going to be curved here to match the curve on the other side but it means that we have to get the curve just right because we don't want a corner of the freezer sticking out under the curve it won't look right so we've had to do a lot of measuring and wood bending to get that right but we think we've got it figured now now hopefully um, we'll be able to get the freezer down here soon and we're going to have our fridge down here those two squares that are marked out on the floor so we don't feel that we need to have a fridge as well as a freezer and I would prefer to have a freezer. I can get meat or fish out in the morning and put it into the fridge which will keep it all nice and cool down there and it will be cool anyway because it's under the water line. And apart from that it's just butter and cream and a bit of cheese so I think a freezer will be more efficient for us. So where are we at over here? I've found some uh, shuttering ply just loafing about here and about here and uh, I'm going to be able to utilise that in places where um, it's not going to be on show and this is one of those places. The freezer is going to go in here and therefore you won't be able to see any of the back of this shuttering ply. The other side of the shuttering ply is, is quite good in fact so I'm not too bothered about that. And then the space down here which is it's quite shallow really but I'm going to put some shelves in here for small items um, such as wine glasses and other important um, things. And I'm quite glad really to be able to use this because otherwise it was probably going to be put in a skip and um, burn. Excellent. So that's today's job. My first job today is to paint the dinette. It's had a coat of primer on, but I've just been putting trim along the edge of the panel here, and it's all dry and ready to have its paint on. And I'm going to primer down here on the floor. And we've actually decided that we're going to put a bit of carpet down there because it's raised up and it'll be nice to have something warm and soft under our feet there. I found some nice green flecky carpet which will match the boat and hopefully by the time anybody sits at the dinette their muddy shoes will be off so it should stay reasonably clean. It's the only place we'll have any carpet, it's not really the best thing to have on a boat but I think just here it'll be just right. Well, we can't be on the boat this week, but it's not stopping us from working on the boat. So over here, we have Henry, and what are you up to? I'm going to create a radiator out of copper pipes and copper fittings, because you can get a nice stylish one by doing it like that. And I'm just thumbing and ahhing about how many bars we have going across. I'd originally planned to have it like this, one, two, three, four, five, but I'm thinking it might be a bit too squashed up, so uh, I'll probably end up going with that plan. But once I start cutting the pipes, then I'll get a better feel of how it's all going to go. So, I want it to look quite steampunky as well. Right. I like those red knobs. Yeah. Just dog standard gate valves. And you're not using the push fits, are you? Because they turned out to be really expensive. Yeah, I also read a few bad reports about them. Although in saying that, I've, I have used those myself uh, on a few occasion, occasions. But I didn't have any problems. But I don't really want to put one of these things together and find that it's leaking in 
the numerous places. Right. So I'll go with the solder version and see what happens. Right. Oh, exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing these be made. I've decided in the end to go with four of these rails. That looks good, actually. It's good proportions, isn't it? Yeah, well, there would have been uh, issues, I think, when I come to soldering it. If these had been too small, I'd have had to take all sorts of precautions. But there's going to be another bit of the um, 22 mil on the bottom as well. So uh, it'll be fine. I think that will be warm enough. And it is only a towel rail at the end of the day. Right, so that it's all 22 mil then, all the pipe work. Yeah, uh, except these little stretches, uh, which will be coming from these two um, taps, that's going to be 15 mil. Right, that'd be good. It's going to look really nice on that dark wood that we've got in the bathroom. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so. We've just got to solder it tidily now. Okay, it's a tomorrow job now, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> Are those fumes poisonous? No, I don't know. <laughs> Better open the door. Oh, this looks like you've nearly finished it. Yeah, well, I finished most of the construction, that's for sure. I'm just cleaning up some of the uh, solder joints on it now because I'm not so good that they're brilliant, <laughs> so I've got to make them more shiny. I've got a couple of things to put on here as well. But that's going to happen on the boat because I don't know the height of that yet. And the other thing that I'm going to do is to get some lacquer to finish it all off because it is going to tarnish as soon as it goes into the open air. Well, it's already tarnished uh, from getting it from the plumber's store to here. So that would be quite nice actually once that's all um, lacquered up. A bit more work to do over here cleaning up, but that's. Uh, that one done effectively. So this is the bathroom one, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'll stand it up so you can see which way it will go. Like that. Okay. And that's going under the gunnel, so that's why that's coming out, so that we, got, we can make sure we can get a towel over the top of it. Yeah, brilliant. Excellent. Rather like these as well. Yeah, they're nice. I like those. Well done. So next one I think now. Well that's it for this week. We are going to continue with our making from home and next video I'll be wrapping the freezer. That's going to be fun I think. Henry will be making another two radiators um, and we'll see how we get on with all of that. Okay see you next time. Bye!